Hi, Rob Linhart here in the Hazel's Wine Department. Here we go with Sunday Wines for August 4th. Tom was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back. Going to start this week with the 2018 Castillo Las Almenas Bobal Tempranillo Blend from La Mancha, the heart of Spain. This is a super fresh, light, easy drinking, not quite porch pounding, but just about getting there, red wine. Bright, fresh, berry, cherry fruits, just a touch of dusty tannins on the finish. Great all around, easy drinking, table red, party red, have at it. Next up, we've got the 2017 Rubin La Vie en Rose, Rosé. This is a Cote de Provence Rosé, so you're gonna get those classic fresh strawberry, red currant fruits, nice, dry, mineral finish, good, firm, all around Provence Rosé, great for the hot weather, another fabulous deal on a great French Rosé. Coming at you now, we got the 2014 Darenberg Laughing Magpie. This is a Shiraz Viognier blend, classic Northern Rhone blend. Here, it's really the Shiraz that's driving the bus. Beautiful, dark berry fruits, blackberry, black cherry. For me, this wine's got a lovely, earthy cocoa edge to it. I'm thinking about chocolate-covered black cherries. They mostly are using new oak here, but I'm definitely getting a little coconut, a little influence from the oak there. So just a whiff of spice, whiff of coconut vanilla from the American and French oak they're using here. Great all around Australian style Shiraz. Stepping over to a beautiful white here. This is the 2017 Domaine du Gaillac de Branger. Manitou Salon, Sauvignon Blanc. Manitou Salon, we're in the Loire, we're just butting up against Sancerre. So we're going in that direction, again, with some soft citrus. I was thinking lime, grapefruit curd. There is some limestone there, so we're gonna get a nice, firm, chalky minerality on the finish. Manitou Salon, very much in the line of Sancerre, but quite a bit less expensive as a rule, and this is no exception, terrific value. Next up, we're heading to Argentina. This is the 2017 Aini Malbec. This is a biodynamically farmed Malbec. For those of you who are looking for those more naturally produced wines, we've got one for you this week. The style here from higher elevations, we're definitely in a more elegant, approachable style than what we typically see from down in that neck of the woods. So not so jammy, not a huge oak influence on this wine. It's just about nice, firm, well-balanced, fresh fruit, great all around, very well-made Malbec. Next up, here we go. We got another something from the stash for you. This is the 2016 Once and Future Petite Syrah from the Palisades Vineyard, single vineyard Petite Syrah. This is an amazing Petite Syrah. Lovely, fresh fruit. It's got some high tones to it. For a Petite Syrah, from what you're used to, this has got a lot of structure. There's some firm, grippy tannins on the finish on this wine. Still those lovely, fresh flavors, a good whiff of spice. It's got a lovely blue, sort of violet floral note on the finish. Incredibly complex, super interesting Petite Syrah. And dare I say it, this has got some aging potential. This is a wine that you could be drinking right now, but if you wanted to sit on this and wait for a while, see where it goes, it will go into a very good place. All right, and now we got a couple for you video watchers out there. These will not be in the email. I'm gonna start this week with the 2012 Mount Eden Chardonnay. You've been following this. We've had a great run of killer Chardonnays in the last few weeks. This one may take the cake the best out of all of them. This is an amazing, piquant, old style of Chardonnay. There's some oak there, but it is fully integrated at this point. Incredible depth, incredible density on this wine. 2012 is the vintage, but I'm telling you right now, very much like the Petite Syrah, you could throw this wine in the cellar for another five years and it will continue to get better and better and better and better. This is an over the top Chardonnay. If you're really serious about drinking the Chardonnay, this is gonna be for you. Last but certainly not least, another great Syrah coming out of the stash here. This is the 2014 Radio Coteau. Las Colinas Syrah, another Sonomaco Syrah. So we get that cool climate character. Meaty, I was thinking about red meat, fresh tenderloin. To go with that, again, we're gonna get those beautiful dark fruits, blackberry, kind of blue tones, little blueberry fruit. Lovely, soft, earthy clay texture to this wine. 
On the finish, we'll see some tobacco, a little more floral notes, whiff of spice in this wine. Absolutely gorgeous, old worldy Syrah for you Northern Rhone drinkers again. This is gonna be right in your wheelhouse. Just a quick heads up, folks. There will be no video next week, but you are gonna wanna get down here. We are gonna have some amazing wines, fantastic lineup for you next week. You're gonna wanna get in on it. Tom was the first one to pull you down. He took one drink and he started to clown. Passed you the Hazel, Jane and Jack. Penelope got you and passed you right back.